So I went to my psychiatrist yesterday because I had trouble sleeping and as you all know I take tablets to fall asleep and also for my depression. So I went to him, I said, Doc, can I please get my meds changed or something? Because if I don't take my meds, I can't sleep at all. I feel like I have become dependent on the drugs. And if I don't take them, I feel off. And the insomnia is so much worse than the brain zaps if I don't take the meds. So what can we do about it? And you know, I heard the same thing that I would expect any psychiatrist to tell me you know practice good sleep hygiene make your room dark and cold and make sure you go to bed on an empty bladder you know reserving the bed for sleeping and sex only so you don't play with your phone in bed don't do anything else in bed don't do your homework in bed you know the really common sense stuff but yeah, in theory, super, super simple things. But in practice, the hardest thing to accomplish. And you need discipline to do it. And yeah, I do not have a lot of discipline. One may say, <laughs> you know, I think I've done most of these things, you know. Going to bed at a reasonable time every day have a healthy diet or a balanced diet, um, a normal exercise routine and um, frequent exercising and stuff like that and keeping the bed for sleeping and for sexing only, which are my field of expertise, sleeping and sexing, you know. You look at me and you know that I'm an expert in sleep and sex. You just know it. But yeah, I can't fall asleep. I, I told him about it. And it looks like at this moment in time, I really do need the meds. And there's no point just stopping my meds right now because it is detrimental to my health. Um, sleeping is the most important therapy in my treatment for my condition you know if I don't sleep my day is gonna be ruined um, even if I do sleep I get a little bit of brain zaps from not taking my meds I can deal with the brain zaps but if I if I don't sleep at all man my day is gonna be hell everything's gonna be gonna be turned to shit yeah, that's why I'm on the meds now. So, yeah. my, my psychiatrist basically told me to do the very same thing that everybody else is doing already. Um, there's no special treatment. I just gotta, I just gotta do it. You know, I just gotta go to sleep on time. Uh, this time, though, I'm gonna focus on. What is keeping me awake and you know keep track of my sleeping habits i'm gonna keep like a diary um, of what i do leading up to my bedtime and yeah what do i do when i am in bed and when i wake up and what do i do when i wake up stuff like that and today this morning i woke up still feeling a bit groggy um i have a hunch it's because Aram has to go to work early in the morning at 4am and he woke the whole house up, I think. Or maybe I was just busting for a pee at 4am. But anyway, I woke up, I felt really uncomfortable, just laying in bed. You know, still feeling tired, but I can't go back to sleep. So yeah, I stayed in bed until 8 o'clock. Yeah, I was playing on my phone when I woke up as well. So that was really bad for me. I should have just gotten out of bed and... Yeah, but anyways, it is what it is. Um, yeah, still feeling like crap. So my sleep is not fixed yet. 
I did try to force myself to do some studying before bed yesterday which is like really boring stuff and um, you're only meant to go to bed when you're tired so yeah that's what I'm gonna be focusing on only going to bed when I'm really really tired and trying to stay up uh, until then and not not lying in bed doom scrolling on my phone and stuff like that you know the bed is only for sleeping and it's for sex <laughs> it's as if the doctor knows me so well I only use the bed for sleep and sex he knows me so well anyways hope you guys are doing well stay strong God bless uh, have an amazing day and I hope to speak to you soon